Canal Side Trail is a 3.27 mile long rail trail that runs between East Deerfield and Turners Falls, Massachusetts, which utilizes two abandoned rail lines. Beginning in East Deerfield, parking can be found off of McClelland Farm Road. The trail begins by going down a hill and around a curb, where it then meets up with the original line. After four tenths of a mile, you'll come to the Keystone Bridge. Aries and I are just now crossing the Connecticut River via the old trolley bridge. Spanning over 600 feet across the river, this bridge has been here since 1880. Shortly thereafter, you'll come to the first road crossing. Here you'll find another parking area. Just keep in mind that all pets must be leashed. Reason being, that little girl sees a dog up there and wants to run after them. As you continue along, you'll spot a lone stone bench in the woods. When you see the old water tower, it won't be too long before you veer off of the first rail bed. About eight-tenths of a mile into the trail, you'll head down Masonic Avenue, cut across Rodshop Road, then down Solar Avenue, crossing Montague City Road, and then along Depot Street before meeting up with the next rail bed section. See here along the road, the guard post is made out of an old rail line. As you get to the top of Rodshop Road and feel like taking a really quick detour, whoop, you go right up there. See it's all blocked off now, but that's kind of an old bridge that used to cross the trolley line. You can just see the old construction, the abutments and everything. Otherwise, you can keep following the signs. And as always, as you're crossing the roads, make sure it's clear before you start to cross. At the end of Depot Street, you'll spot the next parking area. Follow the trail as it turns back into a two-lane bike path and heads up a small hill towards the canal. And over across the way, you can see Poet Seat Tower. Once at the canal, you'll be on the second rail bed that makes up this trail. Along here, you'll find some informational signs and benches. You may also spot some wildlife on the water. Looking up the canal, you'll see the next town you're heading towards. And in case you feel like taking a break along the way and have packed a lunch, there are some picnic tables provided right next to the canal. Every now and again as you're walking along, you'll spot some old remnants of the rail line. And here we are, finally at that bridge you could see for probably a mile or so. Just a little ways ahead, you can see that there's an old rail bridge that crosses over. This is one of the spurs that jutted off to the industrial buildings across the canal. The trail leading up and over next to the main road, over a side road, with looks like an old temporary bridge and very closed bridge. Right next to these bridges is a large parking area, but be warned, it's not for the public. The trail continues along the canal, and soon you'll spot the Turners Falls Bridge and a large red building. And it looks like today there's a detour. You can see they're doing some bridge construction up there. So normally you'd be able to just cross under the bridge, but for now we have to go up and around. So this red building that the detour brings us up and around is called the Great Falls Discovery Center. And on normal business hours, I believe that there's a restroom inside. Down at the bottom of Gatehouse Drive, you can see that there's another parking area. And while this parking area marks the official end of the rail trail, the pathway does continue on another three-tenths of a mile to Barton Cove. Along the way, you'll find some picnic areas. Here we are arriving at Barton Cove, on the Turner's Falls end. Along with an informational sign, you'll also find the last parking area. So with plenty of parking, a nice smooth paved road, some natural viewing areas and picnic areas, this trail could be great for anybody who's just looking for a nice relaxing day.